often I, I record things on my phone on voice memos and I then import them into the session and treat them as, as, as seeds almost and then they you know different parts of the groove can grow different parts of the song can grow and gradually the form takes shape but I think for me it's to do with trying to capture the, the initial excitement of the idea and maintain that throughout the whole process right to the very end. So much of my music is based on, on acoustic instruments and things that make natural sound a lot more than sort of synthesized electronic sound. So, so for me, everything that I record needs to sound as real and transparent as possible so that you feel like you're in the room, you know, when, when you're listening to the stuff. So what these preamps, you know, enable to happen is for it to sound fully fledged and very warm, but actually completely transparent. So there's, there's, there's nothing in the middle which prohibits the listener from essentially being beside the, the musician at, at that moment, which is for me, that's always the goal. Sonically, when I'm designing my music and producing my music, I, I aim to get everything as close to the acoustic sounds as possible because I'm very into the instruments in terms of being acoustic rather than very electronically produced. So I try to leave the instruments as they are in the room. Then when I sit them into the mix, they, you know, I want them to sound very similar to that. And in some ways, the, the, the least amount of processing that is necessary to achieve a, a warm and full sound is always what I'm going to go for. So you know, to have, to have the greatest things on my side means that I don't need to really touch them at all when they, when, when they, when they enter the door because everything is, is, is glistening and kind of ready to go. For me, one of the most important things about any workflow is that it's as seamless as possible. And the fact that you can um, control the parameters, first of all, in a, in a tactile sense, in an analog sense, but also inside the door in a, in, a, in, a, in a digital sense, just means that wherever you happen to be in the workflow, something is there under, un, underneath your fingertips. And for me, that's, that makes a huge difference. Dante is essential for this studio, so this red focus right is linked to the Grace using Dante. I've also got a, a red um, headphone amp over there, which is over the network, so everything is actually linked via Dante, which is a really successful and sort of seamless way of, of getting things organised. The way that my sessions often work is that I have layers upon layers upon layers upon layers of different kinds of ingredients, sometimes with three or four hundred tracks, audio tracks, that are playing simultaneously, which obviously needs a bunch of computer power to process, and it, somehow it does it. But where the monitor controller and where the monitor is not, not transparent, and I, I have had this problem in the past, it's just really hard to get any sense of clarity with where these things are in the stereo image, where they are in the mix, because it's so easy to, for, it, for it to become muddy. So for me, a transparent system is absolutely essential for working with that, that number of, of tracks, especially as they're all audio tracks. So I'm, I'm recording using the preamps and obviously to hear it back in a transparent way is very important. The way the setup is organized is as seamless as possible. So the focus right goes directly into the M905, which goes digitally into the keys. And so there's this effortless workflow between the whole of the station, which just enables everything to happen very easily. A good big volume knob is always underrated. Um, and the fact that it's so tactile just means I can grab it and it feels great and I can control things. Also using the remote, I can be on the other side of the room and I can turn the volume up and down. It's just for ease of use, it's just it's absolutely superb. It's always about that balance between the digital and the analog, right? And, and for me, being such an analog dude, digital things and, and digital parts of the process need to be basically invisible. They need to render themselves invisible and be as transparent as possible. Now, something like the M905, essentially means that the, the digital part of the process, although it's present, it's not something that I need to be aware of when I'm just trying to conceive music because I can, I can enable analog things to happen and essentially it sounds so fantastic that it, it's, it's almost like this, this part of the process isn't even there because it's so tactile and, it's, and it, it's so, it, it flows so naturally. Everyone with whom I spoke, Grace was top of the list because A, you mentioned the transparency, which is so, so important, but B, it's to do with how, how tactile it is, how, how easy it is to use, and the fact that you can connect it with you know, things, things like, like, like Dante. It means that in a studio like this, which is you know, obviously a very small space, um, but one that's quite, quite bespoke to me, I can customize them and get them to do exactly what they need to do at any given time. You know, I, I, I knew they'd be good, but they are, they're, they're, they're really, really special. It sounds awesome. It's, it's unparalleled. I've never had a setup with this in my life. Thank you.